Kanye West spent $1.2 million in weeks of production on his music video for Stronger. But what if I told you he could have made the whole thing for under $30 in just a few hours using AI? With how fast AI is progressing today, that kind of high budget production isn't just possible to remake. It's now almost possible to beat if you know what tools to use and how to use them. So I spent the last three weeks obsessively testing everything. And just as I was about to give up, I figured out the simplest way to recreate music videos like this. Without needing to be a filmmaker, no editing, or spend more than a night's dinner. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create a studio quality AI music video in under an hour using nothing but your laptop with zero experience in music production, AI, or video editing. Now, to create our actual song, we're gonna head over to this site I found called Suno AI. When you open it, you'll see a very simple window where you just type in a prompt for the kind of track you want. For my case, I'm going to type something like chill lo-fi track with female vocals, warm guitar, mellow synths, and a dreamy 85 BPM vibe, perfect for late night mood. That's the cool part about AI music. Instead of needing expensive software and years of training, you can just describe the sound you want, and the AI does the hard part for you. Once I've entered my prompt, I just click generate, and after a short wait, it gives me two different versions of the track. Let's take a listen. Street lights hum, a quiet tune. Street lights hum, quiet tune. The second one actually sounds really close to what I imagined. The first one is not as good, so I'll stick with the second track. Now right next to the audio file, you'll see a download button. Just click it, and now we have our finished song ready to go. Okay, so now the tool that actually allows us to create those high production AI music videos is called OpenArc. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below, so if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can just click that link and get started right away. Now, when you first sign in, you'll be met with the home page. And the first thing we want to do is click on the left side where it says image. This section is where we're going to design our artist, the main character of our music video. Think of this character like the star of your video. Just like big productions cast an actor or performer, we're creating a virtual version of that with AI. All you have to do is describe the person. So let me show you an example. I'm going with a 24 year old woman with long glossy black hair and striking stage ready features. Slim, elegant build with a confident magnetic posture, wearing a chic stylish outfit, fitted black top, subtle metallic accents, sleek high-waisted pants, intense expressive eyes, captivating smile, radiating charisma, set against a pure white background, soft studio lighting emphasizing her as the star, giving the impression of a rising singer in a promotional portrait. Now the reason I went with this description is because the song I'm working on has more of a relaxed lo-fi sound, so I want the character to visually match that mood. The look of your character should complement the feel of your song, because the visuals are part of the story your video tells. Once you've written your description, the next step is choosing the right model, and this part is really important. For photorealistic images, the best choice is OpenArc Photorealistic. To find it, click on Switch up here, and in the second row, you'll see OpenArc Photorealistic. Select that. This model is specifically trained to create natural, lifelike images, which is crucial. If your character doesn't look believable, your whole video will feel off. But with this model, the outputs look like actual photos of real people and that's what makes the end result professional now let's generate some images i like to set it to create two images instead of one so i can pick whichever fits my vision best so let's click generate and there we go the images are done and honestly they all look really good it looks like a normal real person exactly what we want but we're not done yet having only one static photo isn't enough to make your video actually consistent you'll want your character from multiple angles here's how we do that Go back to the model selection screen, and this time, choose Flux Context Max. Once you've selected it, go to the Omni Reference section and upload the original image you created of your character. This tells the AI, use this same person as the base. Then, in the Prompt section, type something simple like, the same girl, turning her head slightly to the right, natural expression. Generate that, and as you'll see, it produces the same exact character, but now looking in a different direction. That's perfect, because it gives us variety without losing consistency. 
you'll want to repeat this process until you have at least four variations. For example, one of her looking to the right, one of her looking to the left, and one of her looking upwards. This way, you'll have enough data to actually train an AI model based on your character's face. Think of it like giving the AI multiple reference shots so it can understand what your character looks like from different angles. The more variation you give it, the more consistent and realistic your final video will be. Once you've got all of those images, download them. Then head back to the open art homepage and then on left side click characters now in this new window hit start with four plus images this opens up a new tab where we upload all the reference shots of our character once uploaded we just give the model a name i'll call mine something simple like artist and click generate after a few minutes the training will be complete and we'll have our custom character ready to perform inside the ai music video all right so now our artist is finally done generating i'm gonna head back to the open art homepage and in the middle where it says music video you'll see the option to create click that and this is where we'll actually start putting our music video together the first step here is uploading an audio file which will be our song here i'll upload the song then select which portion of it i want to use i'm just going to pick the start of the track and click confirm the platform processes the audio and now it's uploaded next we need to pick the mode basically the style of music video we want you'll see three options style which generates abstract mashup footage that fits the mood of your song it's cool if you're making something more artistic or experimental like funky or lo-fi styles story this one tries to understand the meaning of your song and creates a narrative around it so if your lyrics are emotional or tell a story this could work well this is also what we are going to be using and singing this one creates a music video and makes the artist sing to this song. So click on story and now it asks us to select a character. And as you can see in the character selection, our artist now appears in this little circle. So let's click on her to set her as the performer for the video. Next, we need to choose the aspect ratio. For most music videos, especially if you want to upload them to YouTube or watch them in a normal widescreen format, go with 16 by nine. This ensures your video fills the screen properly and looks professional. Now, under advanced settings, you'll notice options for different video models. These are basically different ways the AI can render and style your video. If you're experimenting, feel free to play around with them. But for this tutorial, I recommend leaving everything on the default settings. They work really well for most cases, and it keeps things simple. Finally, click create story, and now the AI will start generating your video. Once it's finished, we'll take a look at the result together. And now that it's done, let's take a look. And looking back at our video, it honestly came out really good. The visuals are super attractive, they match the style of the music, and the AI even added colors that really complement the vibe of the track. Now of course, there are still some small mistakes here and there, and that's why I'm showing you this method. The one I just showed you is definitely the fastest and easiest way to create a music video, but the good news is you also have an option to edit the video and clean up those mistakes. All you need to do is click this button right here, which opens up the editor. And as you can see in this scene, it didn't really come out the way I wanted. So here's how we fix it. I just select the specific scene I'm not happy with. Then I can edit the prompt that generated this part of the video. For example, originally the prompt told the character to draw a circle on the glass, but in this scene, I don't want that. I just want her to lean there naturally. So I remove that part of the prompt and click generate again. Now, if you look at the bottom, the editor gives me a new version of that scene. So I'm gonna go with this version instead. So that's our first method, fast, simple, and editable. But now, let me show you a way to create videos like this with much more control and an even higher quality. Now to do this next method, we want to head over to the left side and click on character. Select your character again, and then click create. What we're going to do here is create the video assets part by part, but this time we'll have much more freedom for customization and we'll be able to use higher quality models. The difference is, instead of letting AI generate the entire music video, we're going to build it step by step. This takes a little more work, but it gives you way more control and the results are higher quality. Once you're inside your artist's character page, you'll see a prompt window. This is where you'll describe the scene you want to generate. For example, here's my first prompt. Artist standing in a dark room, a single white spotlight shining down on her, holding a microphone with both hands, smoke and haze around her silhouette, cinematic, dramatic music video opening shot. This description will serve as the opening shot of my music video. Now before generating, I'm going to toggle on the enhance feature. What this does is expand your prompt in more depth, 
helping the AI interpret it more accurately and giving you better results. It's a really useful tool, especially if you're not used to writing long detailed prompts. Next, under prompt adherence, you can control how strictly the AI follows your description. If you set it low, the AI will take more creative liberties. If you set it high, it will stick very closely to what you wrote. For this one, I want it pretty strict, so I'll set it to about four. Then, under character settings, you'll see something called character weight. This controls how much of your character's features remain consistent. I usually recommend leaving this around 0.8. That way, your character still looks like herself, but the AI has a little room to adapt. For the aspect ratio, I'll select landscape. This usually gives the best quality for music videos, especially if you're imagining your video as something made for YouTube. I'll also increase the number of images generated to five. That way, I'll have multiple options to choose from and I can pick the one that best matches my vision. Now I'll click create and once the images are done generating, let's take a look. And honestly, they all look really good, but I think I'm gonna go with the third one. So now I'll click on that image and in the top right corner, I'll use the feature called image to video. This takes the image as the starting frame and allows us to add a prompt that describes how the scene should animate, basically turning our still image into a moving video clip. The first thing it asks is which model you want to use. Here are a few solid options. Kling 2.1 is really good quality overall. Then Seadance 1.0 is also great, especially for smooth motion. And Runway is another strong option for clean visuals. But the absolute best model I've found for realistic outcomes is Google VO3. So that's the one I'll select. Now, sometimes switching models removes your uploaded image. If that happens, don't worry, just re-upload the image. Then in the prompt section, I'll describe the action for the video. The girl in the opening shot of a music video, waiting calmly for the lyrics to start. Notice that I don't need to write an extremely detailed prompt here. Just a simple description of what I want the scene to look like. For the resolution, I'll choose 1080p. For the video mode, I'll select normal, so it doesn't create anything too fast paced. I'll also turn audio off here because we'll overlay the song manually later on. And with all of that set, I'll click create. And now that our video is done generating, it came out looking really cool. The person in the video looks exactly like our character. And the shot really captures that feeling of her just warming up, getting ready for the song. Honestly, this is the kind of opening shot you'd actually expect to see in a real music video. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is how to actually make the character lip sync the exact lyrics of your song. So for this, I'll start with another prompt. I'll head back to image creation and type something like, performing on a rooftop at night, glowing city lights and billboards behind her, wide angle shot, camera slowly circling around her as she sings into the mic, hair blowing in the wind. I'll keep all the other settings exactly the same and click generate. Looking at the results, I really like this one right here. It's a straightforward shot with the city behind her. So I'll go through the same process again, download this image, head back to the video tab and upload it as a new scene. This time I'll describe the action like this. The character is performing a song, singing into the microphone. She's energetic, moving slightly with the rhythm, bouncing to the beat as she performs. Now in the auto speech section, you can paste in your lyrics and the important part, make sure to check the box that says lip sync. This tells the AI to actually sync the lyrics you wrote with the character's mouth movements. After that, click create. And once it's done, you'll see the magic. The character is now perfectly lip syncing the lyrics exactly as we prompted. At this point, I'd repeat the same process to create a few more scenes. And once I've got all my assets generated, every shot that I want lip synced, I'll head into my video editor. For me, that's CapCut, but you can use whatever you prefer. Just drag in all your assets in the order you want, then drop in your song underneath. And now let's take a look at the final result. Shadow stretch, they never ask why. Drifting slow, let the midnight go. Time feels thin, where does it go? Drifting slow, oh the midnight glow. Coffee steam. As you can see, it looks amazing. The quality is surprisingly good. A lot of the shots look almost real and the combination of music with the AI generated scenes makes the whole thing feel like a professional music video. So now you actually know how to create a professional level AI music video from scratch, complete with custom characters, lip syncing, and cinematic scenes that look like they came straight out of a studio production. And the best part with open art is fast, simple, and high quality without needing expensive equipment, a big team, or years of editing experience. So if you wanna start creating your own AI powered music videos, the exact same way I just showed you, go ahead and sign up for open art using my link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.